Hey guys, welcome to my channel and I'm your host Pavitra again uh, with another video. So uh, I hope you all are doing great and uh, I'll be talking today something about a uh, life journey and struggle. So you know right like as a student or as a someone who is not em employed or uh, do, do not have any job in hand and uh, currently looking to get into uh, employment and that we uh, pay him some uh, paycheck every month and you know right as a middle class family we all are dependent on our paycheck so I believe uh, if you are a struggling student and you are still looking for a job opportunity we should not give up life is not easy and I talked about my life struggles and journey in my last video uh, coming from a tier 3 college working on a, a service based company Capgemini to coming to Microsoft uh, it was a journey and it was a dream uh, come true for me but same thing like I did not lose hope and, and, I, and I did not stop trying uh, there were lots of odds in my case I'll try to uh, give an example about my life so that at least you will be inspired and uh, you will never give up so when I uh, uh, completed my studies, I was uh, having very low grades and uh, my maths were not that great. I was not at all concentrated on what to do on life in life because we did not have anyone to guide us. But my friends, um, myself and one of my friends Jitesh and the other one is Paras, we were all like uh, dazed and confused. <laughs> but we did explore everything, we then did something which was uh, somehow it was able to get us above the shore, above the sea or above the sea line and today we all are employed and we are uh, uh, doing good in our life so uh, may it be many different things you have to try when you are young, you are early in your career because you do not know where you might get the success like, I know somebody who was very uh, bad at studies and uh, was not aware of what to do in life but somehow he found out that he was very good at cooking and he chose the hotel industry and he is doing very great as a chef he has opened his own uh, restaurant so you do not you should not think that there is only one thing in the life likewise I said like in my last video also in IT there is no career if you do not know coding my friend you are wrong there are so many careers if you even do not know coding like a, a salesforce administrator power bi administrator you have to just create the dashboards you have to know the ui but a tableau is there an application for uh, data science and data engineering then we have multiple tools and there are multiple companies who have created so many products and if you want to know more about these things or uh, to create a career graph for you guys i can tell you and i myself i am into cloud computing uh, my uh, my entire experience has been on uh, windows server vmware and hyper v products and uh, i am an administrator uh, though i have transitioned through this years into devops uh, while uh, um, working on the jobs and changing multiple roles but initially when i started my career it was as an administrator and so is many guys i know like they started, they were doing Excel work in their previous job and then they changed to data scientist role. So similarly, there are multiple roles, multiple products. You just plan what suits you better. Take that, do your courses, learn that particular subject, learn that particular product very well and then apply for the jobs. It will be not easy for you. It will be time taking. Be cool and calm. Be true to yourself practice 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 and do hands-on if you have a laptop and if you are uh, planning to build your career into power bi or tab do uh, into data visualization then i would say simply install that application on your laptop and do the testing upload the files sort it out create and graphs that itself will give you exposure to real-time scenarios then play around with it do some mistakes or make it more complex and then create a different charts and graphs out of it so there are things which you can do even before you join the job, actual job, and you can ace your interview. So 
uh, for myself like uh, when i started my uh, journey like it was very difficult like uh, to get a job was very difficult like you know right so i had to go to multiple off campus interviews some were fake some did not selected me some rejected me and guys myself given 15 interviews got select rejected and today i am into microsoft don't you think it's you who can do as well the same way if you get rejected don't feel bad i got rejected i straight away went on to the theaters and watch fast and furious just to vent out my anger i i told you right like in my old videos you will see i used to woke up very early get into the line and then uh, prepare for the interview and his interview so it was like a whole day journey stay in the line if there is some other interview going on nearby i used to go there as well so morning i used to leave my home and evening i used to come back that was the kind of a life i was living and you too my friends can uh, struggle because that is a period for struggle you have to hustle and uh, so after getting rejected every time as to flush out my mind start from scratch identify what are my weaknesses are where which questions i was not able to answer so i used to attend all these interviews and write up those questions into a notebook so that it becomes a glossary for me like these many questions these set of questions and i do not know any answer about them search for the answers in the google Cloud, google and then write down those answers and for those questions and then next time when i was i was attending the interview i was able to answer them so likewise uh, before you hit a correct job or before you crack a current job you have to give go through so many failures because that will give you a list of questions that will expose your weaknesses and if you work on your weaknesses and because i have attended so many interviews and i have so many questions with me every time whenever i should go for any interview i should take up those questions from there and i should write it down on the notes and i prepare for the answers so like that way whenever i was going to the interviews i was able to uh, uh, crack the interview because i have known that these many questions are i'm not uh, aware of and i'm i'm having my weaknesses so i have improved on my weaknesses so that's how your strategy should be attend so many interviews blindly just give those interviews because that will give you an exposure about the questions being asked and what is the latest trend like how Uh, what people are asking frequently you will also are able to identify the trend as well with the questions you are noting down post any interview so that's what and then after that like uh, like you apply for multiple jobs randomly and uh, uh you get a call like uh, an actual call for a job interview and you plan and do this uh, interview preparation this way next thing is you will be uh, losing up will be feeling sad so how to cope up with that so what i used to do is do something like uh, play a game or go outside talk to your friend someone who is very close to you can share your uh, pain so discuss with him then talk something casual like what do you used to do in college days these things we used to do in school days these things so do you remember how was life back then so talk something about these things and your life will be heartened like it will be lighter will feel it is less bored and it is less stress it is less sad the more you talk and the more you indulge yourself into something like a hobby like playing go out and play cricket for with random players or random team or with your friends go outside go for a walk or running watch a movie watch a video and flush off your mind so once that is gone you can then concentrate very well on your further preparations that's how it should be and my friends if you are still not succeeding or failing in your job career do not feel bad because there are multiple of companies there are hundreds of companies who are there to hire there are so many job openings so just give your best just think that whichever interview you are going to attend think that if i am going to attend that interview that place is there for me the on chair is reserved for me and i have to go and sit over there and have that mentality and go and give you an interview with all the confidence if you have any weaknesses work on your weaknesses if you do not know any area uh, or any topics just write it them and do more research on them work on your communication if you are not good at communication talk to the mirror talk to yourself in a self in a room like right now i'm in this room just take up any topic topic of your choice and keep on talking talking in that way your communication will improve keep a habit of having a dictionary 
with a novel or any story, short story, book with you, so that when you read those books, and I always recommend have a newspaper at least. You now read two newspaper, complete that. Any new words you come across, find that word and go and see the meaning of that word in the dictionary. That will help you again. So that's it for my uh, for today, guys. And if you do want to hear more from me and uh, do want to hear a lot about uh, students' experience, job advices, and uh, real life uh, engineering students' experiences, then do like and share my channel. And uh, I'll be sharing my experiences so that it will help you. Uh, thank you, guys. Uh, thanks for watching my video and do like, share, and subscribe my channel. That will help.